All right, so this is gonna be a bit of a special or extra video for this week, and it's for a very good reason and for something that I know that you guys will really enjoy. I was approached by the people over at Red Hat, who some of you guys might already be familiar with, who are hosting this event called the Ansible Fest. So why is this event relevant to you guys? Well, because this event is completely dedicated to automation. So you can sign up to the event using the link in the video description and you'll be able to attend this virtual Ansible automation event on the 29th and the 30th of September. And yes, they are sponsoring this video, but the entire event is completely free. And they have lots of really interesting speakers that are gonna be talking about lots of interesting topics related to programming and automation. And when I was reading through these topics and the titles of the different talks that they were gonna have, I basically felt like either one of them might as well have been titles of videos of mine. And this is what made me feel like it was worth making this extra video this week just to talk to you guys about this event and why I think that you guys will really like this event. For instance, two of the senior engineers who work at Chocolatey are going to host one of the talks about how to automate Windows software management with Chocolatey and Ansible. And these talks are each only about 30 minutes long, which is also really good in my opinion, short and concise, which is what I like. And for this particular session, they're gonna talk about how you can simplify your Windows workflow. So as we all know, the package management workflow on Linux using yum and apt is so much simpler than it is on Windows. So what these two guys are gonna talk about is how you can use Ansible and Chocolatey to automate and greatly simplify this workflow on Windows. Another session will be all about contributing to open source. In this session, Toby Langnell will look at the different ways of contributing to open source and how that can benefit a business and become a competitive advantage. He'll also go into the open source strategies of different companies, both big and small, and provide you with the knowledge to start building a business case for open source within your own company. And Toby Langnell works as a consultant that helps big tech companies understand and leverage open source within their business. So whenever I make a video for this channel, I always try to think like, what would I like to watch? And that's always where I start. What would I like to watch? And then that's what I try to make. So therefore I feel like if you're subscribed to this channel, then we're probably fairly similar in what we like and what we don't like. So that's why I think that you guys will really enjoy this event because reading through this myself, I felt like I got really excited about it. And there are lots of other sessions that will be held as well, like this one on how to set up an Nginx server using Ansible, where they'll go through how to install Nginx and Nginx Plus how to configure Nginx to serve a simple web app and reverse proxy, how to set up Nginx app protect to protect Nginx from external threats. And this sort of stuff is genuinely what gets me excited, which is why I wanted to actually collaborate with Red Hat and Ansible Fest to make this video. And like I said before, like reading through the topics of what they'll have talks on, it basically felt like either one of them could have been titles of my videos. So I highly recommend signing up for this and attending this event. Again, it's completely free, so there's really no reason not to sign up. So just sign up using the link in the video description to attend the Ansible Fest 2021, which is taking place on September 29th and September 30th virtually. And that's it for this little extra video this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope that you will enjoy this event as well. And um, yeah, that's it for this one. I hope I'll see you in the next one on Friday.